Hello and welcome to Front Runner Motorsport. So, for the first time in a couple of years, we get to do a preview of the Toyota Racing Series. Long overdue after the cancellation of the 2022 series, due to a sheep uprising or something. Except it's not the Toyota Racing Series anymore. Now we have the Formula Regional Oceania Series. Not a mouthful at all. So are there any big differences to the Toyota Racing Series? No, not really. It still comes with a field of young hopefuls looking to make their mark in motorsport. So let's go through every team and see who's competing. Maybe pick out a winner if we can. So make sure you subscribe today, the Oceania Series. Tomorrow, the Middle East. And we also have Formula E this weekend, so the start of 2023 is pretty packed. Kiwi Motorsport. The name for this team is really fitting. Their owner really likes fruit. They have five drivers set to compete in 2023. Lucas Fecari of Brazil, who has only competed in a handful of races and is a bit of an unknown quantity. Australian Tom McLennan. Spent 2022 racing in Formula Ford and Aussie Porsches. He didn't have any successes, but it looks like it was his first go and better things may come his way, perhaps in the Oceania series. Josh Mason is probably top pick of the Kiwi Motorsport drivers. He is a race winner in the GB3 Championship and has won races in Euro Formula in 2022. Despite only finishing fifth overall in a series of like 10 drivers, Mason has more experience than his teammates and is leading the charge. The final two drivers are American Jacob Abel, who ran in the Indy Light Series in 2022, finishing 8th overall. He'll be returning to the rebranded Indy NXT this year. Finally, James Penrose, the only Kiwi for Kiwi Motorsport. He has had a lot of success in New Zealand. He has dominated the local Formula Ford scene for a couple of years now, and this is a big step up. But he doesn't over tracks, and that might be an advantage in this series. M2 competition. The reigning champions, kinda. Igor Fraga won for M2 in 2020 and has done very little since. Maybe this ragtag mob will have better luck. Austrian Charlie Wurz has got to be the favourite coming into this. He is the 2022 United Arab Emirates Formula 4 champion. He also finished fourth in the Italian Formula 4 series. He is a step above everyone else in this series and with that comes pressure. Failure to succeed here could be damning. He is joined by Callum Hedge, another who has had success in New Zealand Formula Ford and is a race winner in the Aussie Porsches. He could be another top challenger. Liam Skeets is a local who's had some mild success in Formula Ford, whilst Ryder Quinn has some race wins in Australian Formula Ford but not much else. Finally, American David Morales. He's had podiums in GP3 and British F4, but he has never been a race winner and he failed to score points in last year's Formula Regional Asia. For me, M2 are all about Charlie Verts in 2023. M2 are usually the team to beat at this level, so there could be wins for the other drivers here. Giles Motorsport. Our final team and the one with the least amount of drivers, just four for Giles Motorsport. Irishman Adam Fitzgerald, only began his car career in 2022 and took a pole position in British F4. He only finished 14th in the championship though. He also raced in Italian F4 without success. He's kind of been living in Alex Dunn's shadow, but it's only a small shadow and Dunn is racing in the Middle East series, so Fitzgerald could make a name for himself here. Our final New Zealander is Brianna Morris. She is a young driver who has taken some wins in New Zealand Formula Ford. This is an early test for her. Our final two drivers are both American. Ryan Sheehan is a very young driver who has done very little of note and honestly I have nothing to say about him. And Chloe Chambers has raced in Formula 4 USA and of course the W Series. She also has done very little. In fact her single point in the W Series is the highest profile success Chambers has achieved. Overall Giles Motorsport have an underwhelming lineup and will be looking up at the other two teams. So that is a rundown of who is competing in the Formula Regional Oceania series in 2023. Who will be champion? I think Charlie Wurtz has to be the favourite. I think the Austrian has a big future. Make sure you subscribe for more motorsport content, loads of videos incoming. Thank you for watching and have a good one.